we have this third video in the series I did for uh, using the array panel for your retouching. Now this particular video is about cleaning the eyes. You know, every nice portrait has to do with the eyes. If the eyes are out of focus, you won't have a nice portrait. Or if you have dull eyes, if you're looking for ways to brighten the eyes of your subject using the array panel, this tutorial will be good for you. So without wasting time, let's just dive into it. Right, so as you can see, the image on your left as usual is the before. Now if you look here, the eyes are a bit dull. And then the image on the right is after using the magic eyes on the array panel. If you look here, we have magic eyes. Hello guys, welcome to Ghana New Photography. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. Don't forget to leave us your comments and give us a big thumbs up. Thank you. Welcome back guys. So we did the healing, that's cleaning of the blemishes already. And we've done the frequency separation. We have a clean image. Now, if you look at the eyes, they look dull. Now, every portrait or headshot, your eyes really count. That's what draws attention to the picture. So looking at this, we have very dull eyes. So we are going to take care of the eyes. Retouching Academy has um, a shortcut here called Magic Eyes. Now, I have another tutorial on how to whiten teeth and then uh, Whiten eyes that if you want to create your own action or you want to use your own process. I have a tutorial on that. I'll add the link in the description. But for now, we are going to use the magic eyes. Once we click on it and we wait for the action to play. Now we expand this and this is what we have. Let's expand this so we can see everything in writing. So we have the change iris color, darken iris outline, Add light on eyeball, add light on into iris, and then change eye whites here. Clean eye white here, sorry. Now we are going to use the brush tool. So you come here, use the brush tool. And in this case, you can decide to use 100%, but I would like I like to see the build up. Or sometimes I just want to brush just once. So I'll keep the flow at 50%, opacity 100, smoothing at zero. Because I want I don't want that trail to follow it. I want Anytime I brush, it just goes right away. So we'll start by cleaning the eye whites here. Now, my aim is not to remove um, all these red veins and all that. I just want to clean it a bit and then make it more presentable. So with that, I'll go to 40% flow over here and then just brush on it. Go this way and come here. That's it. Just once. I don't want to have it 100%. So this is just 40% flow. I'll do the same thing over here. Let's go over. Yes, because I want uh, part of the details in there. It's not natural to not have veins in your eyeballs. Everybody has veins. And I like my pictures close to natural. So I always keep it like that. Now, we move to the second one, which is add light into iris. Now, this is the iris by what I remember from elementary school these are the iris so we we need to add light into iris so with that i'll go back to 50 percent and then it's the same brush tool we just select the add light to iris and then we just come here i want it down here now my selection wasn't that good so i'll undo and then do that again okay now that looks too strong so i'll go back to the flow of 40 then brush carefully into the iris down here awesome so i'll do the same thing over here and already we can see we are getting some definition in the eyes so that's not all that's just two out of five now add light on eyeball where is the eyeball yeah so same thing we just go one this is too much for me. So I already, you can see guys, I, I, I like things close to natural. So this looks too fake for me. I could just use 100% uh, and then decrease the opacity, but I'll, I want to build up gradually. So I'll just go to a um, flow of 30% and then do this. Just one and then brush once here. Yeah. That's too much. Brush once here. Yeah. And then this little part in the corner here, just brush it. We do the same thing over here, and then that's it. So if you go out, 
this is what we have this also it looks a bit too much for me so i'll still have to use the opacity of the group to reduce it so the next thing is darken iris outline over here which is i would like to use it here that's too much yeah good and yeah then the last one is change iris color which is um let me see i have never used that usually for my works i use just uh, these two clean the eye and then add lights on eyeball those are the only two things I. but since i'm explaining shortcuts on this panel I, I need to go through all with you guys so you can it, there might be instances where the perhaps the person is wearing contact lens and you might want to change the color in post so this is what you use the change iris color so let's go here with a flow of 40 percent flow of 40 percent you can use any percentage you like it all works right we come in here and then just brush in the iris so as you can see it has changed the color here now somebody will ask how do you change the color this is somewhere cyan how would you change it to maybe purple or green or something very easy it's an adjustment layer that's being used so what you're working on now is the layer mask now if you move to the left of it here you will see the adjustment layer so just double click on it and it opens for you it's simply the hue saturation layer so over here you see this is a value that gives you this so if you hold it and then drag it just look at the, the iris see it keeps changing so that's it that's a trick if you want to change the color of the contact lens or the iris this is what you use so let's say for shaggy reasons we want to keep it at uh, nobody likes red we want to keep it at i'm biased towards blue but in this case we'll leave it somewhere green for shaggy reasons we we'll leave it here right so let's do the same thing for the left side here so if we zoom out et voila she has green eyes it doesn't look um that's okay so what i'll do is i'll just disable that so that we leave it at where it is if we zoom out you realize the this place looks the whole thing looks a bit too much so if you're watching this on your phone you realize it looks to me it looks a bit fake so we come here the full layer for the magic eyes then we go to opacity and then reduce it to somewhere 70 percent yes i know I'm a minimalist when it comes to retouching. 70 looks a bit too dark, so let's just make it 80. So we have this image looking so perfect. Now we haven't done dodge and burn because I already have a video on how to globally dodge and burn. I will still do a video with how to micro dodge and burn, which is corrective dodge and burn instead of frequency separation. So guys, if you haven't subscribed yet, this is a good uh, a good time for you to subscribe and hit the bell button so you don't get to miss any of my tutorials. So I hope this has been informative for you and I would like to thank you for watching.